Hey guys, what's up? It's Muckles on Key. So there's a couple of pretty cool updates that came out today. One was the Viswax, and I'm not really going to talk about that because it's pretty straightforward, and I'm sure several other YouTubers have made a video on that. But basically what you can do is you do a little puzzle. It takes like two minutes where you exchange some runes. It doesn't really cost many runes. It's only like three runes. And you get a whole bunch of Viswax, and you can either sell it for 500k profit, although I'm sure it will go down in price soon and won't be that much profit. So it might be like 200, 300k profit normally, but for now it's 500k profit. Or you can use it to extend your daily challenge so you get more XP from it. You can use it to reset auras, so you could like reset Jack of Trades, for example, and get double the XP from that. Or you could alternatively use it to double your daily divine location gathering. So for example, if you're capping on yew trees, you're getting about 50k wood cutting a day, you can double that by resetting it 100% of the way, and you can get like twice that, so 100k wood cutting a day. It's less if you do any other skill, because yew trees are the best to use with divine locations, but you get my drift. But the main thing that I was excited about with this update is for one, the familiars that you can use to hold pure essence, such as the Abyssal Titan is the one that I'm using right now, they now have a lot more carrying capacity, so the Abyssal Titan holds 20 pure essence. I'm not sure how much the other familiars hold, but that is a fair amount. Also, all the pouches and also the familiars inventory are emptied automatically, so you just click on the altar, and all the pure essence that you have stored in your inventory and all your pouches and familiar all together just automatically gets crafted into runes which i think is really really cool so i was trying out some astral rune crafting and one thing that i gotta say is this will look like really good profit when i price check it but astral runes are not selling for as high as their ge prices because unfortunately quite a few people have found out about this method probably quite a few people were expecting this method and so astral runes are kind of crashing i expect there's probably also a whole bunch of merching because this update was kind of well known to come so a lot of people probably bought runes in advance thinking they'll rise and now are dumping them and they're not rising so runes are going down so just expect kind of a small rune crash or maybe a large rune crash within the next couple weeks and don't really expect runes to go up but hopefully in time they eventually will go up because monsters also drop a lot less runes now there's a lot of monsters that dropped a lot of runes like fire giants or celestial dragons for example and now they drop either no runes or a lot less runes so there's a lot of runes that were coming into the economy because a lot of people do combat and now there's a lot less so in one hour of crafting astral runes, this is how many astral runes I got, which was pretty legit. It's also about 58k rune crafting XP per hour. I was also on a German world just because um, there's less interface lag when you're on a foreign world. There's just so much interface lag on uh, American worlds. I click on the bank and it takes like a full half second before the bank actually opens. You all know how that is, but on a German world, there's a lot less interface lag. So if you ever decide that this is the way that you want to make money and you want to go super pro hardcore into rune crafting, you want to make sure that you're on a foreign world because you get a lot less interface lag. So one thing that even though astral rune crafting isn't going to be 4.1 mil profit per hour, like the price check said, because astral runes are less than that, it still is really good profit. At least least 3 mil an hour even if astral runes go down quite a bit and of course you need 90 rune crafting for the massive pouch to get that full xp so not everyone will have access to that but i think it's pretty awesome how um people that don't necessarily want to do combat or just want to do a skilling method to make money now have more than one option i mean there's a couple other good ways to make money through skilling and you guys will see some of those in a video tomorrow hopefully um however rune crafting was kind of never as good as this i don't think runecrafting has ever been up to four mil gp per hour even in its glory days back in 2007 and all that i think this is probably the highest in terms of just gold value that runecrafting has ever been another thing that i wanted to ask you guys about is i've been exploring some skilling money making methods for again tomorrow's video and i was going to ask you guys what are some non-combat ways of making money that you know of so far the best ways that i've found are using magic to tie tan dragon hides using hunter to catch grenwalls uh, with the Grenwall tickets that you get from Big Jinchapa and rune crafting. So if you know any other really good non-combat money-making methods, let me know, and they very well could be in tomorrow's video. I'll research a lot of stuff, and hopefully we'll find some good ways to make money. But one thing that's kind of unfortunate is skillers don't really have access to a lot of the best non-combat money-making methods. For example, skillers can't use ast can't make astral runes because they can't do lunar diplomacy because you need combat for that, and skillers also can't summon like creatures to store essence in because they can't train summoning and so far the best rune crafting method i've found for skillers only is actually making law runes which isn't nearly as good as making something like nature runes or astro runes but skillers just can't do that because they can't summon uh, and they can't go in the abyss because they die so 
you're really stuck with law runes, which are only like 1.6 mil per hour and about like 30k rune crafting XP per hour, which is really pretty bad compared to how good of money and XP making Astro runes is. Um, one thing though is Astro runes are about 60k XP per hour in rune crafting now, so they're still not great in terms of XP per hour, but it's definitely moved up there with all the new updates that have come out. So anyway, that's about all for this video. Go ahead and try out runecrafting if you want to give it a shot. If you have some of these higher requirements, you can make some pretty good money and get some decent XP as well. And also just remember to leave me some methods of making money for non-combat. That's about all for this video. Thank you for watching and farewell.